Hi everyone. It's happening, the retreat. And I apologize, the details haven't gotten out. Those of you that are in contact with me know that it's happening Saturday, September 19th, Sunday, September 20th, and Monday, September 21. I am here today to let you know a little bit about what's coming up, uh, what the schedule will be. I've had a lot of questions because people are trying to understand what does a virtual retreat look like? Can I get the same kind of experience that I get from uh, an in-person retreat? And my goal is to answer that question with a yes. I want to give you a deep experience. Now, part of that's going to be up to you. And then you can leave the rest up to me. So I just want to go over the retreat schedule and let you know how that will look. And then you can decide if you want to participate and how deep you want your participation to be. I do recommend that you invest yourself in this, that you make of it an opportunity to go as deep as you possibly can. So first part of that is so that I can create for you a deep experience. The very first thing on our schedule is going to be that there are only going to be 10 participants in the retreat. The reason why is I do want a deep connective experience. And I've found as you get higher numbers, then we can sometimes lose people. Some people aren't as forward and might get lost in the shuffle and might not feel that real connection or we start to break apart into smaller groups so once you get to a certain number then it's better to break big groups into smaller groups and that can work for some events but for this event i really want the people involved in the retreat to be really have this opportunity to really connect with each other so that's the first part the second part i'm going to do is i'm going to keep you busy for three days. <laughs> so part of the retreat experience is the fact is that you break away from your life and you go and you immerse yourself in a process. I would like this to be the same. So I'm going to have a pretty full schedule for you. There will be some breathing time in between for you to process the information, but it will still be pretty consistently that we're checking back in with each other and having an opportunity to share and build that bond because that's the other part of the retreat right are those connections that i talked about and we want an opportunity to connect so we'll be actually doing three different times a day where we're connecting as group where we're coming together and it will be by video i wish it could be in person but i do want to have everybody have the opportunity i don't want people to have to choose between their safety and the safety of others over their opportunity to participate. So we will be connecting by video. Uh, this retreat will happen again uh, when we can all meet in person and there will be personal experiences. By then it will be significantly higher investment. So now's a really good time to take advantage of the opportunity to have the experience at a reduced price. So in that um, we will be connecting several times a day and then there will be video lessons along with contemplative exercises and meditation practices that you'll do on the your own so some practices we'll do together and other practices we'll do individually and so that will be our plan uh, the retreat will actually begin Friday night with a prep video. So it's sometime after 7 p.m. Friday night. If you are really not available till Saturday, you can do it as part of your Saturday morning. But it'll be a prep video that I release at 7 p.m. on Friday. I will release it to the public. So if, if for any reason the meditation's not full yet, it, I'm, I'm guessing it will be. But anyway, it'll give you a chance to see how I'm suggesting people prepare. One of the things I do recommend is if you want a really deep experience, separate yourself from your life. If you live with other people or are get distracted in your routine by being at home, it's okay to book a hotel for a weekend or go to your favorite getaway. Go out into the mountains and really immerse yourself in this experience. Just make sure you're in a place that has Wi-Fi and you'll be good to go. But you can make this. this is That's your part. You can make this as deep as you want it to be. You can make this this opportunity to really escape and spend three days deepening your experience of you. So that is one of the things I do suggest if you can do it. You can also do the same thing by making a commitment to yourself that you're going to be engaged in the practice and asking other people in your life to respect that. And so you can still have a deep experience even if you can't get away. 
right? So what our processes will look like schedule wise is that um, 9 a.m. every morning, there will be a morning meditation available for you. So you'll have time to wait kind of at your schedule. The lesson will be waiting there for you and will be followed by some contemplative questions. So if you prefer to begin your practice at 7 or 8 a.m., or if you prefer nine, or however you wanna tie in when you eat in the morning, that will be available. After that practice at 10 a.m., there will be a live video chat. This is where we'll connect with each other on um, where we are, share our personal experiences in the practice, bond with each other, and also support each other. Your personal experiences, when you share them, improve other people's personal experiences. So this is our chance to come together and teach each other. That will be followed by noon. We'll have a lunch break and another video meditation. That video meditation will be followed by more contemplative questions. And then we'll have a group practice session together. So I will, at 4.30, we'll be doing a session where we're doing an exercise together that is meditation related. We will break at 6 p.m. for dinner and another video lesson, and then gather again at 8 p.m for a group meditation. So the 8 p.m. we'll be meditating together and then we'll be doing sleep preparation. So um, again, I, I say this all the time, 20 minutes before you fall asleep, 20 minutes after you wake up, most important times of the day. So we're gonna set up a practice of how you can bring meditation into those routines and take full advantage of them to improve your health overall and your ability to process information. It'll be actually a learning curve that you will be able to create for yourself. So it will be really great. Monday's schedule will be a little bit different. We'll follow that schedule on both Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, we're going to shift a little bit to a wind down. So a lot of times uh, the wind down of meditation practice is about moving out of the meditation, meditative process and into what we sometimes call reality. But that that is a real loss of opportunity. So meditation is not a place that's an escape from reality. I say this all the time. It's not about a moment of stillness in a life of chaos. It's about building a life of stillness that easily manages chaos. And so this is that opportunity to transition meditation into your life. It is going to be very different than a lot of retreat closures that I've experienced where at the end of the retreat, you're separating yourself from that deep experience. What I want to do is help you transition that deep experience into your life. And so we'll go through that process and we'll be done by 6 p.m. I do want to remind people, if you do decide to travel, plan and schedule that you can be fully participating until 6 p.m. So that as the retreat comes to a close, you're not losing that uh, momentum that you want to carry into your life. You're not just running back to this hectic schedule. So make sure you plan a schedule for your return home that complements the practice. I mean, just kind of uh, navigate your exit from the retreat in a way that helps you carry that momentum forward. I do want to say you will have a full retreat schedule. So you'll know what we're doing moment by moment on Monday. Um, for those of you that do confirm your participation in the retreat. So once uh, you've secured your spot, then I will send you a full retreat schedule so that you can plan both being available when we meet on Saturday morning and for when the retreat ends on Monday evening. You can kind of schedule that. So I think that is it for now. If you have more questions, keep them coming. Uh, we are starting to get people booking their spaces, so uh, come with your questions quickly if you have them. You can email me at linda at the self-care sanctuary. That's self, not south. <laughs> linda at the self-care sanctuary. Or you can message me on any social media platform. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those as fast as possible so you can be sure to get your spot. Until we meet next weekend, I hope you enjoy the journey.